Hi guys, I'm doing a voice recording during the day for a change. And this is a follow-up from a three-year-old video, a little bit longer, for one man antenna mast, which I occasionally pull down for maintenance, and this time uh, I wanted to tape up the joints again with some self-amalgamating tape, and quite a bit more. I touched on the reason why I wanted a, a bolt and notch cut at the top of the pole near the pulley to stop the antenna rotating while it was at the top, and I did that and the notch is shown here. It could have been a little deeper, but I cut this out of the sleeve that gets dragged up and down the pole using a Dremel cutting blade. And uh, you might be able to see it at the top of the mast here. There's a little bolt under the pulley, and then the sleeve locks into it. And this is to uh, prevent fatigue breaking the cable uh, between the pulley and the sleeve. Um, but I've done a, a, a major upgrade this time. I've brought a, a 6.2 meter pole, uh, which sits, sits atop another sleeve that might be about another 10 centimeters off the ground uh, brought some new hardware and duplicated the same thing pretty much um, and i wanted this timber strengthened uh, because after i brought some nail plate <laughs> i split uh, a part of the clamp the, the, instead of using a u-bolt the first time i used another bit of treated pine to clamp the pipe and uh, that was okay for you know something a meter off the roof but uh, when it gets to something it's probably six and a half meters high now uh, where things can be dangerous obviously I wanted it a little stronger so um, this isn't even the the finished result I want to move to something maybe box section aluminium uh, that will never rot but uh, and I've also replaced the the clamp that was done with treated pine with u-bolts and some mud flap washers to spread the force over a decent area an upgrade that you can't see is the thickness of the mast, which is still a 50mm diameter tube on the outside and now is 4mm thick instead of 3 previously. On a still day like this, that little bolt and notch up the top isn't really going to be tested, but I'm supposed to be able to rotate the antenna from the ground. It's not supposed to swing around at the top radially. The method for securing the cable back down on the ground is the same as last time. I'm using the back of a stainless steel U-bolt uh, to secure the cable back to the mast down the bottom after it's been up through the pulley uh, with a single 6mm stainless bolt. And uh, I can attach an extension for lowering the, the antenna. Um, and I can also set it in a low position during a storm and I plan to upgrade this cable to 4mm which I've already got I'm just waiting for swage connectors. And this is just a bit of testing and observation on a fairly gusty day up to 30 km per hour winds and as you can see the antenna isn't rotating at the top on its own. You get a bit of flex in the mast and the antenna. Nothing that I'm particularly worried about uh, for this level of uh, wind. 5 meters is the minimum recommended height from the ground for the particular antenna and 6 is probably as far as I'll go. This graph displays voltage standing wave ratio versus frequency and as you can see the resonant points are all slightly below the band that I'm interested in so I still need some adjustment. I'll need to shorten some elements as you can see for the 20 meter band we're sitting at about 3.9 megahertz. The resonant point for the 40 meter band is about where I want it at 7.12 megahertz and uh, for 40 meters the element is independently adjustable anyway. I don't know what to do with this antenna analyzer. I've downloaded and built the source code, so I downloaded a compiler and IDE as well. Um, and then I'm running the familiar plasma demo that I use to benchmark just about everything. Um, it's based on an STM discovery board, which has a nice capacitive touchscreen and uh, does have SD card libraries. Um, but not much input output in, in an enclosure like this and I would want to retain its functionality I wouldn't want to write something different and have to swap binaries So yeah, I don't know maybe do something with it and maybe not <laughs> who knows It was nice to finally get it off the ground after three years the original video has got thousands of views so I'm assuming someone uh, took some ideas from it and did something similar and the main thing to take from this video would be the notch cut into the sleeve and the bolt uh, for it to sit in to stop it rotating at the top um, quite important um, and, and a huge difference in, in practicality as well so um, 
I'm happy now, or stressed, that I've got something that needs periodic maintenance and worrying about forever. Um, yeah, there might be a few more radio videos coming up. I've got my focus spread over a few different things at the moment, so hopefully I'll get one of them happening, and uh, I'll catch us next time.